and I close with these things in water. Happy Sunday, everybody. This one's a little bit different. Today, I'm excited to share my experience with this amazing product. Hey runners, my name is David Waters. I'm the Plant Powered Runner. And on my channel, I talk heart rate training, gear reviews, nutrition, anything to do with running, adventures. Yeah, I ended up in Toronto and I ended up in my old neighborhood. I always wondered what it would feel like to wear headphones and yet hear the music but also hear the surroundings while I run. And today I'm going to talk about the Nenka Runner Pro Bone Conductive Headphones. And I'm going to do it in my old neighborhood where I used to run as a kid. Nenka contacted me through Instagram and asked if I wanted to go ahead and review these headphones. I did not pay for it. They sent it to me uh, for the f for the purpose of review. These are all of my opinions. Nobody is going to see this video or any other part of my video until you guys see it on YouTube. So just so you know, all the disclosures out of the way. Now let's talk about these headphones. The, s the specs on these things are pretty cool. It's 33 grams, okay? They're a little bit heavier than others, like the uh, Aftershocks, I believe they're 28. But these ones here are pretty darn cool. Bluetooth 5.0, internal storage, we got eight gig, charging time is two hours. Playtime, I found was between five and six, so you can make phone calls. You can run with them, you can cycle, swimming, hiking, has noise reduction. Standby time is 240 hours, and the price is pretty darn good. I am able to get it for $120 Canadian. It comes with a 12-month warranty, a 30-day return policy, and another 12-month standby warranty, which can be extended with another 12 months if you register the product. So let's talk about what I can do with these things. They bend like crazy. I can't destroy them. <laughs> I bend them every which way and they just kind of go right back to where they were. So that's really cool. Now, all the buttons are very easy uh, to navigate when you're wearing them. You've got, uh, uh, basically you put your hand back here and then you can go ahead and you can touch the power button, right? One long press, it goes ahead and turns the, uh, the headphones on and it literally automatically connects to my phone which is in my pocket and I'm connected already I literally now can start listening to music and that's beautiful because it's fast 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 now the buttons are pretty easy to navigate with music you know you press a couple of times up one way a couple of times down very easy if you want to navigate from track to track you can just use a long a long press and it will actually skip to the next one. I like that, especially when I'm running. Now, it also fits my head fairly well. Now, I know if you've got a smaller head, it may be a little bit hard for it to stay on, but for me, it works really, really well. It's a nice snug fit on the side, um, and across the back, is, uh, is it's got a nice design. It stays on my head, it doesn't fall off. It works out really, really well. Now it does have Bluetooth 5, okay? And it, the disconnecting and, and reconnecting are very, very seamless, very easy to use. Now the one time that I have a challenge is when I get in my car and I want my phone to connect to uh, my radio, it has a hard time because it's still connected to my, to the headphones. So there's a little bit of an adjustment where I gotta disconnect it and then I have to go ahead and connect to my car because my car automatically wants to connect right away as soon as I go in. So switching between the two I find can be a little bit of a challenge. It's just, I don't know if it's just me, but anyways, that's one of the things that I have found with the connectivity side of things. Now, if you don't want to bring your phone out for a run, well, you can go ahead and download a whack load of songs, like 1,500 songs, 
eight gig worth to the internal storage in these in these headphones which is amazing and now there is no shuffle mode but you throw in the music it is fantastic basically all you do is you uh, you connect it from your computer to the magnet strip on the headphones and it treats it as a storage device and you can literally just copy and paste all the files over onto that so it works out really well it's pretty fast it's quite beautiful when you're out there on a run and you can skip through all the songs that you want it's just nice sound leakage that's a big thing with these bone conductive headphones now i didn't really have a big problem with that because if i turn it up to the full blast you can actually hear it if i put it on the countertop you can actually hear it while you're away from it but if you have it at about 70 percent then it's not so bad but there is no um level that it says that it's at 70 percent when you're turning the volume up unless you look at your iphone uh or your android phone or whatever you're using you can kind of see how high the volume is up but when you're just using the headphones there's no visual guide to give you any clues as to what is up uh, with the level that you're at now which leads into the batteries now the, the thing is it's really cool this thing charges within about two hours it's fully charged so that is really cool so when you plug it in it's got this magnet uh, connecting strip and you can only have it one way uh, otherwise it repels so put it in the right way plug it in to your charger in your wall and two hours later you've got fully charged headphones and while it's charging it's uh, red and when it turns blue you know it's fully charged now while I was out for a run I noticed that there was about five hours five to six hours of playtime for me and that was fantastic because I would switch from audiobooks to music um, I would even actually use the internal uh, storage as well so I kind of played around with the range and I got about five to six hours of use in that mode and it was great now the thing that I noticed with the sound is the following if you have somebody that's uh, that's talking that's got a very very deep um, bass tone it can actually kind of vibrate a little bit on the bone if it's too loud and that kind of it kind of hurts it's not exactly the nicest feeling and then you kind of have to turn the volume down but um, for everything else I found not a problem the music was really great podcasts were not too bad I found when I listened to YouTube that's where uh, I would have a little bit of a problem because everybody makes their YouTube videos a little bit different with regards to the sound quality and how what the level is that they're playing at and sometimes you know people aren't wearing a mic and that also plays into it so anyways just know it's uh it works really well for all those different mediums so you just have to decide what it is that you're going to be uh, using it for now this feature here is amazing guys it is waterproof so you can go swimming with these things fully submerged over uh, a me uh, you can go under a meter deep and swim to your heart desires it's amazing i absolutely love it I think it's like 30 minutes uh, of swim time, uh, but and it's loud, guys. It's loud with these bone conductive headphones. It's loud. You, can, I can hear this beautifully because the great thing about the bone conductive headphones is it's not in your ear. It literally connects in through the bone and it vibrates um, the sound, which is why, why you can actually hear other sound outside of your ears. So you can hear the music, but you can literally also hear everyone around you. But anyway, it's too hot. I need to see if it's waterproof. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to hear music. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's uh. It works. I can literally hear music when I go under. And it's really, really, really loud. Now, the one thing I wanted to try it out since I'm a real estate agent is I, I wanted to try making a phone call to see what the quality sounded like. And I did two tests. One of them was with the it on my ears and just talking like this. 
And then the other one was with the headphones off, holding it in front of my face, talking to it. Now my phone, I put in a different room using Bluetooth. I put it in my closet and walked away 20, about 20 feet. And uh, this is the sound quality of uh, both of them right now. Hey, this is Dave. I'm actually just calling me using my Nemca Sprinter Pro phone stuck in headphones. Uh, the phone is in a different room than I am. Uh, I'm connected with Bluetooth. And this is the quality. Hopefully, it sounds good. Uh, Maybe a little bit muffled, but uh, the uh, microphone is a little bit further away from my mouth. Hey, my name is David, and I am holding the Nenka Running Pro headphones. Hi, I'm David, and I am testing out the Nenka Runner Pro Bone Conductive Headphones. I have the headphones in my hand right in front of my mouth talking, and this is a test, just the checking out the quality. Uh, the phone is in another room in my house. I am connected with Bluetooth, and this is the sound quality. I'm about 20 feet away. Hopefully it sounds okay. So as you can see, it's not the greatest sound. If I had to rate the sound quality of that phone call on a scale of one to 10, I would give it a five. It wasn't that, it wasn't that good, but it wasn't the worst. So anyways, this is something to think about. Latency. So if you're using these to watch a YouTube video or Netflix, you know what? There's maybe like 0.5, uh, like half a second delay on them when you're playing and they work fine like I, I can watch movies I can watch all the YouTube videos I want and I had no problem with that and that's nice now the price of these things is not too bad I mean it's about $120 Canadian if you click on this Amazon link uh, down below in the uh, video here it was not bad at all and considering these things are these things are fully waterproof they've got internal storage the sound quality is as good as any of the other ones. Now, who are these headphones best suited for? Guys, look, this is the way I see it. If I'm doing the dishes or if I'm in the kitchen cooking or anything like that, and I still want to be around with my family, but I'm not having a conversation with them, I can go ahead and listen to music or a podcast while I'm doing, my, doing the things I need to do. And if my wife calls me, I can still hear her and I don't get a tap on the shoulder. These things are awesome going out for a run. Whether you're running, walking, cycling, swimming, these headphones are amazing. They stay on my head. As you can see, I've got, I've got glasses, I've got a hat, I've got uh, the headphones on. Plus, even when my hair was longer before I got my hair cut, guys, this, these things worked amazing and I have no complaints whatsoever. Fantastic use, they're very comfortable, they're fully uh, waterproof and for the negatives, I would say the battery life. It's not exactly the greatest. I would prefer to at least get a, a charge of 12 hours out of these things. But unfortunately, it gave me, like I said, I think it was like five and a half hours um, I had it. Now, the thing is, is depending on what your volume is will determine how much of the battery gets chewed up. And also, if you're just using the internal storage and you're not using Bluetooth, that will also affect your battery life. I think some uh, people may have a hard time with these if they have a smaller head. Uh, they may kind of bounce around a little bit more. But for me, I had no issues, no problems at all. Everything just seemed to work. So I spent about a month using this product for work, running, daily life, and I found it very enjoyable, very easy. It was a nice product to use. The, probably the biggest concern I have with this whole thing is the charging mechanism. Um, it's not as a strong magnetic connection. So if I plug it, like if I plug it in the wall and then make the connection, if you kind of, if it kind of moves a little bit, it becomes undone and then all of a sudden now it's not charging, you've gone to sleep, you wake up and realize, uh oh, I'm not taking them out for my run because they're not charged. So. But I believe that they are working on a fix for this in future models. But I would say, man, these things are flipping awesome. I like them. Thank you, Nanka, for sending them to me. 
and I'm certainly gonna be uh, using them. I have uh, no problems. And the thing is, is I've never owned bone conductive headphones before. These are the first ones I've ever had and I'm very grateful that they were able to reach out to me and send them to me because man, they just work. I love them. And that everyone is my review of the Nenka Running Pro bone conductive headphones. Now I just need to figure out where I'm gonna go for my walk. Because as you all know, I'm not running at the moment. Until next time, everyone, get out and listen to your music. See ya.